Hello my dear students, this is Avishankari from 100 Learning Together. So today in this video, we are going to completely overcome the so-called math phobia and we are going to reveal you the secret of how to get sentiment 10th mathematics. Okay, you guys are going to face the board exam for the first time, right? Yes, now itself you will be having n number of fears and doubts in your mind. Of all those doubts, these three will be the top, right? What are they? how to study, what to study and when to study, right? So, I am here to reveal you 5 secrets of how to get sentiment max and also to answer all these doubts, okay? So, the first secret is choose a single resource wisely. What? We will be having n number of resources available in internet today, right? Yes, of the all those resources, choose one resource wisely, okay? Uh, you'll be having this drought, right? Is NCRT. Yes, NCERT is book is sufficient to get sentiment. So, it may be okay for this strategy will be okay for other subjects. But in max, NCRT book is not at all sufficient to get sentiment. Okay. So, along with NCRT book, choose any of these three books and solve it completely. Okay. So, don't go by the three. Choose any one of these three books and along with your NCRT is sufficient. It's completely okay to get sentiment max. Okay. So, the second secret is conceptual study. Okay. How to study with the concepts? Okay. So, first what you have to do is have a clear picture of your basics, of your ninth basics. Okay. So, we have already made basics video for you. We'll be having it in our app. If you guys didn't see it yet, just go and check our app. We'll be having the basics video, okay? So, basics clarity is must, okay? Then after basics, you have should have this summary writing skill, okay? Summary writing is the second most important thing. So, here in this summary, you have to write all the definitions, yes, with examples, okay? So, then... You will be able to know what are in your chapter. Yes, what are the things in your chapter? How to start study that particular chapter, right? Yes. So, then the second thing should be you should write all the theorems. You should be clear with all the theorems with proof. Okay. So, these theorems are like warm-up for your sums. Okay. So, before you are doing exercise in your gym, you will be doing warm-up, right? So, likewise, before you are going to solve your sums, you should surely uh, have to solve these theorems with proof. Okay. Yes. And the third most important thing in summary writing is you should create your own formula sheets. You should not rely on any guides for these formula sheets. Okay. So, the first thing what you have to do is you should have a basic clarity and the second thing what you have to do is summary writing. That summary writing should include definitions with examples in your book and the second thing is it should you should solve all the theorems with the proofs and the third thing is you should create your own formula sheet. Okay. So, with all these things done, you will have a super, super cool conceptual clarity. Okay. Only if you have this conceptual clarity, you will be able to solve this MCQ type of questions. Yes. You guys are know well that you will be having in this new syllabus, you are going to have uh, many questions in multiple choice. Right. Yes, and you're also going to have assertion reasoning type of questions, right? So, for all those things, the main thing, what you have to is conceptual clarity, right? So, go by this. So, the second secret is conceptual study. Okay, then what's the third secret? You have to solve at least five years previous year question papers, okay? Uh, yes, so for that, you first, you have to have a clear resource. So, one proper source from where you can study all the concepts. So, from that book, you should have a conceptual clarity with basics, then summary writing, then formula sheets. Yes, only then with all these done, you have to solve previous year question papers. Yes, when you can solve this previous year question paper only, you have that, yes, confident that you can solve maths. Okay, so just for each chapter, Chapter wise, you should at least solve 100 to 150 questions per chapter. Okay. 
only then yes you could easily get sent up okay this may sound big and hard for you but this is the real truth okay yes so what the fourth secret the fourth secret is again practice practice and practice yes not alone do before the exam day okay you can't you you can easily study other subjects before the day of exam right but max you should always consistently consistently practice daily okay so consistently have one hour allocation for max preparation daily only then yes only then your brain will have that yes so when you go for gym yes you if you go for one week and you stop and then again if you go after two months you will feel very hectic right that's the same applies to here also if you make your brain exercise daily with max only it will able to solve uh, the questions if the questions are hard in exams also it's able to solve it okay so you now know the four secrets what are they first you have should you should have a proper single resource and you should have a conceptual study and you have to solve previous your questions and you have to practice it daily okay and this fifth secret is the success secret okay what is it it is nothing but a ninja's badge for 10 cbsc yes so for help you out we have come up with this ninja's badge okay yes here we'll be giving you a proper schedule and a pakka schedule which includes not only maths it will be having science social and also your language paper so that it will be easily balanceable okay you can easily focus on your school your extracurricular activities and also your academics and you can easily get sent them in all the five subjects okay yes so yes guys so the next one is you all should have a good motivation and a good spirit before you start yes yes so just stop doubting yourself do smart work be consistent and make it all happen all the very best guys